Now in this video, I am going to discuss about the format specifiers. The format specifiers are used in scanf statements and printf statement. The example of format specifier that we have used till now is percentage %d and percentage %f. Similar to that for other values also like for double, long double characters, we will discuss all what all format specifiers are available for us in C programming language that can be used for both scanf and printf. So first we will discuss with scanf statement and after that I will discuss for printf statements. If you see the full video to get full concept. Come on let's begin it. Now these are the format specifiers that are used in C programming language along with the scanf statement. So there are a total of 12 format specifiers, note them in your notebook. Percentage C is used for reading a character. A character can be anything between small a to small z and a character is always represented in single quotes. This is the property of character. Or it can be capital A to capital Z or it can be any special character. All the characters that we have discussed in our C character set can come here but only thing is if you want to represent anything as a character you have to put it in single quotes. If you want to represent any digit or any integer as a character then put it in single quotes. Suppose 9 is an integer but if we put it in single quotes it becomes a character. So next is percentage %d it helps us to read a decimal integer. Now what is decimal integer? any integer that is built up using the digits between 0 to 9 suppose 19 1 lies between 0 to 9 and 9 also lies between 0 to 9 so 19 is a decimal integer or anything you can build up like minus 13 1 also lies 3 also lies between 0 to 9 so they all are decimal integers percentage d is used then percentage %e, percentage %f and percentage %g. These all three are used to read a float value. A float value means a real number such as 31.43, 31.47, anything you can write 4.4347, anything. So these all are real numbers or fractional numbers. Percentage %e, percentage %f and percentage %g, anything can be used. Then percentage %h. Percentage H is used to read a short integer. Remember what are short integers? Short integers are numbers between the range minus 128 to 127. If we are talking about signed short integers. If we are talking about unsigned short integers, then they are from 0 to 255. These are unsigned. So, Percentage H is basically used to read a short integer that lie between this range and if I want to scan, if I want to get input minus 130, then minus 130 is out of the bounds of percentage H, then I can use percentage D for that because minus 130 can be perfectly read by percentage D. Then percentage I. Percentage i is used to read a decimal, hexadecimal or octal integer. Now I, I told you that decimal number is a number that can be built up using any digits between 0 to 9. Similarly, hexadecimal is a number where that is built up using any digits between 0 to 9 and 10 can be represented as a, 11 can be represented as b and 12 can be represented as c. 13 can be represented as D, 14 can be represented as E and 15 can be represented as F. So any number that is a combination of any digit between 0 to 9 or A, B, C, D, E, F. We can write it like that. For example, 4A3. 4A3 is a hexadecimal number where 4 is a integer between 0 to 9, A means 10 and 3 is 3. So, 4A3 is a hexadecimal integer that can be read using percentage i. Similarly, octal integer, octal integer is an integer or a number that is built using any digit between 0 to 7. You can see that decimal means base 10, so total of 10 digits are available. Hexadecimal means base 16, so a total of 16 digits are available. 0 to 9 are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Total 16 digits are available. And in octal, octal means base 8, so total of 8 digits 0 to 7 are available for building the number. So decimal, hexadecimal, octal can be read using percentage i. Then if you want to specifically read an octal integer then you can use percentage %o. If you want to specifically read a hexadecimal integer then you can use percentage %x. If you want to specifically read a decimal integer then you can use percentage %d. Percentage %i is common for all.
then comes the percentage s percentage s is used to read a string of characters what is a string of characters suppose my name is halil s a l i l this is one character another character another character another character another character so this is a string a string is a collection of characters we can read the string using percentage s now strings always come in double quotes and a single character always come in single quotes this is the property of characters and strings then comes the percentage u percentage u is used to read an unsigned integer here we discussed decimal integer where signed unsigned both were coming here also signed unsigned both were coming here also but if you want to specifically read unsigned then you can use percentage u for that any integer can be read by percentage u that is unsigned only then this is percentage in the array subscript operator or square brackets three dots are there this format specifier is used to read a string of words now this was a string of characters where each character and it is a collection of characters so it is a string of characters now if i build a string of words such as tutorial mart t u t o r i a l m a r t now these are two words so tutorial mart combined is called a string of words if you want to read multiple words that are separated by spaces or any other characters then you can use percentage array subscript it is not actually array subscript it is a bracket operator and in between bracket three dots are there so these are all the format specifiers that are used with scanf statement now one thing more we can use some additional modifiers additional modifiers such as like small l capital l and small h these are used for specifying long capital l for long double and small h for integer that is short only for short integers so we already discussed this percentage h anyways so if i want to use suppose float is a percentage f now if i want to use a double number i want to read a double number now there is no double available for us so we can use long for that percentage lf percentage lf will read a double number remember there were three types of float simple float double and long double so percentage lf is used for double percentage lf specifically means long float long float means double now third one was long double that can be directly represented at percentage l or you can also write it as percentage l and small f this is also long double and simple percentage l is also long double so these additions can be used now suppose i i can write percentage hi percentage hi will become i i is reading reading a decimal hexadecimal or octal integer then percentage hi will read read a short decimal short hexadecimal short octal this type of conversion can be done and if i write percentage hd then it can read a short decimal integer if i write percentage li then it can read long integers if i write percentage capital li then it can read long double integers specifically there are no long double integers but we can use any modifier anywhere in case suppose percentage u percentage u can be suffixed as percentage lu then it will become long unsigned if i can write percentage llu small llu that means long long unsigned so these additions can be done with any one of them depending on above our need if i need a long integer i will write percentage ld if i need a long float or double i can write percentage lf so these can be used as a additions we also call these as modifiers these are modifiers that can be used depending upon our requirement note this down now let us discuss the format specifiers in c programming language for printf statement we discussed them for scanf now let us discuss for printf there are a total of 10 format specifiers the first one is percentage c it is used to print a character percentage d for printing a decimal integer percentage e for printing a float value in exponent form what is the exponent form suppose i have a number 12345678.43 this is the number then i have to represent it in exponent form so what will i do i can write it like 1.23 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन फोर थ्री ई वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट ई प्लस एट वट इज दिस मीन ई प्लस एट मीन्स टेन रेज टू दी पावर एट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन रेज टू दी पावर एट इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई दिस नंबर बाई टेन रेज टू दी पावर एट आई विल गेट द सेम नंबर दिस इज द एक्सपोनेंशियल फॉर्म इफ आई वॉन्ट द आउटपुट इन दिस एक्सपोनेंशियल फॉर्म आई विल यूज परसेंटेज ई वाइल प्रिंटिंग इट एंड परसेंटेज एफ विल डिस्प्ले इन सिंपल फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट फॉर्म ओनली परसेंटेज जी विल चूज वेदर टू डिस्प्ले इन एक्सपोनेंट फॉर्म और वेदर टू डिस्प्ले इन फ्लोट फॉर्म डिपेंडिंग अपॉन हाउ द नंबर वॉज इनिशियली असाइंड सो दिस बोथ दिस थ्री आर फॉर फ्लोट वैल्यूज ओनली दिस फॉर स्पेसिफिकली एक्सपोनेंशियल स्पेसिफिकली फ्लोट एंड डिपेंडिंग ऑन द इनपुट परसेंटेज जी देन परसेंटेज आई इट प्रिंट्स अ सिंपल साइंड डेसीमल इन टीचर Uh, while using scanf percentage i can scan sign a uh, decimal integer a uh, hexadecimal integer and octal integer but while printing percentage i can only print a signed decimal integer this is the difference while using it with scanf and while using it with printf while using it with scanf there were other options also like percentage x was used to scan a hexadecimal percentage o was used to scan a octal and percentage d for decimal but with percentage i we can do all three Now, in case of printf, we, with percentage i, we cannot do all three. We can only use a print signed decimal integer. Percentage x for printing a signed hexadecimal integer. Percentage o for printing a signed octal integer, and percentage d for printing a normal decimal integer. In case of printf, all are different, different. But in case of scanf, percentage i can be substituted for anything. This is the difference. Note this table and compare it with scanf table. You will get to know what I am saying. then percentage o i have discussed for printing a signed octal percentage s for printing a string now here percentage s can be used to print both a string of characters as well as string of words in case of scan f percentage s was only used to scan a print a string of characters only and percentage bracket was used to scan a string of words but here percentage s can print both type of strings percentage u for printing an unsigned decimal integer this is very important percentage u for unsigned decimal integer so these all are format specifiers for printf and this hll are the modifiers you can suffix them with any one of them if you want to print suppose if you want to print a double value then you can write percentage small l f long float will print a double value for you and percentage capital l f will print a long double value Similarly you can substitute hll anywhere you like for your modification so these three are modifiers they work same like this canf you can suffix anywhere so i hope you have understood this chart now so i hope you have noted down all the format specifiers for scanf as well as for printf statement now when with the passage of time we will practice these format specifiers in our programs you will get a clearer picture and concept of how they are used and how they are implemented practically so till now if you have any doubts you can ping me on the email address that is mentioned in the description of the video please see the description of the video also as there i have given many other important links that can be of use for you and if you like my explanation and my video please hit the like button please share the video with your friends and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please hit the subscribe button also thank you